So here's another tip uh, for your S5. And that is, um, some of us have kids or nieces or nephews, and they want to use your phone. So here's one way where you can uh, turn on a kid-friendly mode so that your uh, nieces, nephew, or children can use the phone and not really mess anything up. So uh, before you can use it, though, you have to make the widget accessible because it's not a program that you can see. And notice how it says kids mode. It's right next to the magnifier that we just talked about. Drag this down to your actual desktop. And you notice how it has a down arrow there. And that's because something has to be downloaded. So you're gonna to have to go through and accept that you wanna go ahead and do this. It's gonna connect. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you kind of the ability to have a, a kid-friendly interface that we're gonna see in a second. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose install. I'm gonna say don't show this again. And I'm gonna let this download. All right, so now the um, kid mode application has been downloaded successfully. You notice that the arrow is gone, and so what we're going to do is start it up for the first time. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is, let's go through some of the um, setup uh, steps. First thing is you'll need to establish a pin, and the kids mode, really, we can swipe through, gives your your child access to the phone without messing any of your settings. You notice that you have some games on here and some things that you can play with. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and set my pin, and I'm going to just do a simple one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four as the pin. And then what I could do is include the, the picture of the child, the name, and then the, uh, the birth date, if that's something that you want to do. Right? So what we'll do is we'll just put one in here for test purposes. And we'll then go to the next page. So I went ahead and I put in a, a fake name and a fake birth date. Um, again, these are disclaimers that will come up. And it's basically uh, giving us some information about you know which allowed application. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and continue. So there's nothing here that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and skip this. And our profile has been created. So uh, the neat thing is the picture of your niece, nephew, or child would show up right here, right? And uh, now there are a series of games that they can have access to. Notice that. As I press the home button, nothing's happening. Uh, I'm not able to get out of this mode as I do the multitasking button. As I go back, I'm kind of locked into this mode. So again, this your your child, your niece or nephew won't be able to get into anything else and mess anything up. So for example, what you have here, go to the first application. Uh, we'll choose this card. And here what you have is this drawing app that you can mess with. All right? Let's see what we can do here. So again, you can color, you can do this kind of stuff. You can change uh, the color of, of what's going on. And this is just one of the apps that comes with it in the kid mode. The other thing you can do is uh, once you add some videos, uh, if you, you know, download um, some videos, you'll be able to allow them to get access to only the videos that you make uh, available through this area. So this is their video player. The next feature that's available is a very simple camera. It doesn't have all the features. Lots of big button, big buttons. Um, so you again, you, what you have is the ability to allow them to take pictures. They can delete pictures. They can take recordings. They can do selfies if they want. Um, I have this really close up on the stand, so that's why you're seeing this. But again, a simple camera is also included so that they can have fun and it and not mess with your pictures or anything else that's going on. So the next thing I show you is, uh, and this is pretty neat. Uh, this allows a child to record their voice. So if I could do a plus sign, you notice what I can do is I can put in a message, maybe a soothing song or let the child record something and watch what will happen. ABCs, one, two, three, ABC, one, two, three. Not too creative. But now when I hit play, ABCs, one, two, three. the mouth is kind of moving towards what I'm saying. So it's actually repeating the ABC, one, two, three recording that I put in there with my voice. Now what you could do also is you can change the face of, uh, of the character. Now that you don't see any lips moving obviously, but you can change it to, to several characters, but you, you can see that the lips are moving as it's trying to show kind of what I had recorded. All right, so that's the recorder. Now depending on the age of the child, you know, we went through the drawing app, we went through the audio recording app, the camera app, and the movie app. One of the things that um, you can do is, and this icon we selected it a couple seconds ago, you notice how the view turned into a card view. So these are pretty much the same programs, but in a card view, as opposed to doing the actual small icon view. So you have uh, that choice as well.
So now if you want to expand the experience on the kid mode, um, all you do is you go into this parental control area. Um, it's pin protected, right? So we'll go ahead and put in the pin that I put in. Actually, one, two, three, four. And now what I have with the ability to do is uh, see the picture of the child. I called it test. Um, you can see what their activity has been, the applications that they've used the most. But if you want to really um, adjust things, you can set a daily time limit. So this is going to control how much time they can use the phone and, and in the play mode. You can also choose the applications. I haven't downloaded anything to this phone yet, but what you do is if there were um, applications downloaded, you can choose which applications the child has access to, especially if they're games. Here is where you would go in the media area to select your media. You know, it's going to go ahead and go into your albums and try to record things uh, so or, or take things that have already been previously recorded. And then over here in the general settings, there are things that you can turn on and, and things that you can block as well as change the pin if that's something you want to do. And also check for updates for the specific application. There's also Kids Store. And in the Kids Store, I'll just say, OK, you can actually, there's some free stuff that you can download. Um, and also there's some things that you can buy. Uh, and what, you know, different type of stories, obviously, here that you can actually um, pull down from, from the specific marketplace for the specific application. So this is a neat add, um, a neat extra function, uh, feature uh, for those of you who have nieces, nephews, or children and um, give them access to the, to the phone. Uh, if you hit exit, you know, you have to put in the pin. You can't get out. I'm going to do that. And now I'm back to my normal phone mode. Again, the child... Uh, should not know the pin and that will prevent them from messing with anything on your phone. If you have any comments or questions, leave them on the YouTube channel. Hope you like this tip.